But I want us to note this. With all of those references that link to the gospel, only one of them said the gospel of your salvation. Now, I don't want to minimize that. I am so thankful to God for the salvation that is ours in Christ Jesus. But I want us to remember this. It is the gospel of God. The gospel of God brings salvation. But what's, what's strange is too often the starting point is what? Salvation. And the, the ending point is, and the seeming goal is to get people to what? Be saved. The gospel is first and foremost the proclamation of God. Who God is in his character, in his being. The full revelation of God and the fullest revelation of God to man comes in who? The person of Jesus Christ, his son. And in, in the son, we have that full exact representation of the father. In the son, we have also what? The redemption in his blood, the forgiveness of sin. And so we do find that in the declaration of the gospel, there will be a declaration of salvation. But you can get gospel presentations that are so devoid of God that people are ready to be saved. They're just not ready to serve God. They're ready to go to heaven, but they're not amazed and filled with an overwhelming love in their heart for the God of glory. They don't sense the glory of God. They don't sense the majesty and power of God. They have no sense of the righteousness, justice, and holiness of God. They have no sense of the mercy and compassion of God. All of those things that form the basis for the salvation that is ours isn't even declared. 